Hello, my divine kings and queens. I'm back to do another video. In today's message, what we're going to be going over is, um, I'm talking to the people today that never received closure from the people who hurt you. Um, I'm talking to the people today who your enemies try so hard to go against you. And the thing is, um, the thing is they thought that it would be funny. They thought that it would be funny to do this. And I'm gonna trigger somebody today because these, some of these people were close to you. And see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna break it down today what I mean by that, that the, the majority were the ones that were close to you. And so the thing is today, um, the message for today is your enemies thought that it would be funny to de to destroy you until God came in and delivered that divine payback. And so the thing is, I want to tell you right now, the closure that you were seeking, you were never going to get it. So I want you to move past it. I want you to give yourself that closure by after you watch this video, I want you to write down on a piece of paper everything that it is that you want to say to these people, what you feel like the response will be or what you will want the response to be. Um, and it may not make sense to you, but just after this video, it will. I want you to just get a piece of paper and write that and burn it, bury it, throw it away after you write, you know, and that is what's going to be your closure. Because you're never going to get it from these people. You are never going to get it from your enemies. I want you to understand that. They tried to destroy you? Yes. Did they think it was funny? Yes. Did they go behind your back and talk about it to other people? Yes. Did they go behind your back and talk about you? Yes, they did. And everyone who they talked about, everyone who they talked about you too, they thought it was funny. They chimed in. People were telling lies. People was envious. People was hating. But let me tell you something. At the end of the day, you never mind that because God is delivering the God is paying these people back. He is delivering that divine payback. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. He stopped these people in their tracks. Because I told you before, I feel like some of these people done this before. And you were innocent. You were an innocent person involved in this mess. And you should have never been a part of it to begin with. You did not do anything, as I just mentioned. You were innocent in the whole situation. But these people were unhealed. These people had done it before and got away with it until they came across you. And see, now I feel like these people are somewhere regretting what it is that they did. And they're somewhere wishing that they would have never done what they did to try to go against you. They're somewhere wishing that they could make things right. Even if, even if these people called you and, and, and sought out your forgiveness, they still have to answer and deal with God. They got to go through that. There's no running around it or, or trying to take a shortcut or get up out of it because this is what they wanted. And these are the predicaments and situations that they placed other people in. So some of it is going through this payback to understand that sometimes you force a person to face themselves. You force a person to face themselves because you come from two different worlds. You, your, your, your way of thinking is different. And sometimes when you're around these people and they look at you and they see how mannerable you are, they see how just you are, how you, you, you are a no-nonsense person, it forced these people to look at themselves on how messed up they are. Because the whole time they're deceiving you, which is why they try to get what they can out of you in the midst of them deceiving you because their whole thing is, it's going to be for a short time, not a long time. They had plans for themselves while making you believe that they had plans for the both of you. And I'm feeling like those who were close to you who caught wind of this, they'll never tell you to your face that they were glad that you had to go through that. 
Some people feel like when you on your high horse or they feel like you think that you better than someone, which that's not your way of thinking. But see, these people, like, this is what they were thinking. I'm feeling like they wanted you to in some type of way go through something that they thought you would never be able to bounce back from. So the in the midst of them catching wind of what they heard that you was going through, they thought it was funny too. And they talked about it too. But you see, the divine payback for these people is having to sit back and watch you get that times 10. And still at the end of the day, have everyone and their mama and their daddy watch you take a loss and take a setback and come back bigger and better as if it never happened. God is placing you in a position to surpass all of these people who talked about you. And he's saying, well, it's not funny no more, is it? It's not funny no more when you are on the short end of the stick now. When you're going through things of which you thought you wanted others to go through. When this person is no longer the laughing stock. Like you wanted them to be. Sometimes people think divine payback is always, oh, what goes around, come back around. Sometimes it's just, you're so evil and so vindictive. You have to sit back now and watch the very same person of who you thought was beneath you. A person who you wanted to control, who you wanted to bind up and tie up by keeping them in all of this. Um, and by keeping them in illusions, by lying to them, by betraying them. You wanted to keep them mentally stuck in a mental prison but now you have to sit back and watch this person go on and do great things in their life and you will never ever be a part of it people take for granted what it means to be a part of someone's life until they're not part of it anymore then they try to do everything that they can to try to get back in people's good graces but it's too late because I'm feeling like a lot of you guys, um, like I said before, had these people had, had their way, you would have gone through so much. It's like they placed you in a real bad situation. All because they wanted to try to go against you just to sit back, to be able to see things play out in your life, which they, how they thought they, what they thought was going to play out in your life, it didn't. And that was playing out in theirs. But the whole reason, reasoning behind them going against you was because they wanted to be able to sit back and, and laugh at your struggles. Laugh at the fact that they betrayed you. They truly thought it was really fun. These people are, these people need God. Um, these people truly, truly need prayer. And that's what we're going to do for them. We're going to pray for them. Tell y'all that all the time. We're going to pray for them. But this energy was coming in big for me. And um, I want you to pray for them. Because they're going through a lot. But see, it's, it's, it's just sometimes that's what it takes. Having to sit these people down because they would not stop. They would not stop. They didn't, they didn't want to pay attention to the warnings. They didn't want to stop because they knew, they knew that, oh, I would get away with it. And then once I get away with it, I'm going to be able to sit back and laugh at it. Matter of fact, I'm going to get others in on this so they can laugh at it too. But when God started delivering back what they was dishing out, some of these people could not take it. They could not take it. And, and I'm feeling like they did things that they kept trying to go back and figure out new ways to try to go against you. And every single time, they got blocked. Every single time, they got stopped. Every single time, they reached a dead end. And then now God kept them in that space so that when he came back around and was delivering them back that payback that I'm, I'm telling you that is going out right now, 
your enemies right now god is delivering payback right now to all your enemies and they're still in that same spot that they were in before when they were trying to go against you they in that same spot hoping and wishing that it would just stop hoping and wishing that god would have mercy on them but they have to learn a lesson and sometimes the best way to learn is learning things, you know, learning things the hard way. We don't have to, but trust me, trust and believe that, like I said, everyone deserves a second chance. Everyone deserves, you know, um, a new start to try to change themselves. And I'm feeling like after these people go through what they go through, after these people finish, after God is finished with these people, I truly do feel like they're going to turn over a new leaf. Because at this point, it's almost as if they just don't want to, they, they're not going to want to go through this no more. They're going to understand now how it's set up and how it works. And I truly do believe that at the end of the day, that's why I'm telling you to pray for these people. But all you need to know is that these people aren't laughing at you no more. Like I said before, laughing season been over. And now um, God is coming back and he's dishing back what these people put out. What these people put out, they're getting it back. And and it's gonna it's going to push some to get on their journey. It's gonna push some to want to come back and seek your forgiveness if they do allow these people to apologize. But then you send them on their way because you understand that these people were real toxic. They were very narcissistic. They wanted to control, destroy, and keep you bound to them. They hid this so well from people. That's why people were on their side and believed everything that they said. But at the end of the day, you know, you went through what you had to go through. Those dark days are behind you. And so, you know, I just wanted to come on here and, and, and let y'all know that at the end of the day, you know, things not funny no more when God, when God step in and deliver that payback. When he say it's time to pay up. And then these people ain't got nothing to give because they didn't give anything good to you. They didn't try to see you for who you were. A lot of people who, who should have been trying to come and, and be your backbone and be your support. They was happy that you was going through what you was going through. Happy that you took a fall. Happy. It's, it's almost as if your sadness, your struggles made these people happy. It fulfilled them in some type of sick and evil way. Because these people need to heal. They need to face themselves. And I feel like the bigger picture and you know message behind this whole story is just in these people doing what they did to you to a person who did not deserve it a person who kept giving them the benefit of the doubt i feel like you some of y'all y'all knew what was going on but you just wanted to believe that these people would change and they didn't the whole time they took you for granted they took you for a joke until it just wasn't funny no more it's not funny no more because a part of it is these people need you. The other half is they going through what they wanted you to go through. And now they see, hold up, this ain't nothing that I should have been trying to send this person away. This ain't nothing that I should have been trying to put this person through. And they regret everything that they put you through, everything that they took from you, everything that they said, every bad feeling that they felt towards you. Because God is taking these people through it so that they will change. So, in me saying that today, I just wanted to come on here and let you guys know that I want you to send a prayer out to your enemies. I do not want you to wish bad for them because they're already going through it. So, pray that these people make it through and pray that... Um, that they change themselves and i'm wishing the best for you i'm sending you peace love and light 
And I want you to understand that if you need a friend, you got it in me. If you need love, you got it in me. If you need inspiration, motivation, a life example, you already know you got it in me. I come with that real. I don't come with that fake. I'm your sister. I'm your confidant. I'm that shoulder that you can lean on. I'm that listening ear for you. So I want you to know that I love you. I support you. I got your back to the end. We ride together. We slide together. JC game for life. And until next time, I want y'all to stay prayed up and be blessed. I love you.